Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. You know, I recommended that uh, guys do something on the air recently and never really check back to see if they did. Now, you know, um, much as uh, many parts of the country despise California and Californians, you know that many of the laws that are passed in California, not to mention the fashion trends and whatever that emanate from here, eventually ripple their way through the country, for better or for worse. Many of the things we've done here eventually become part of your world wherever you happen to be. Everything from pollution controls to the Internet, which, um, without Al Gore's help, was invented here. Um, you just go down the list of things that we have invented here, everything from uh, 99% of the entertainment industry and to just about every show and every innovation in the entertainment business. It, it, so many things have emanated from here. And um, so when I talk about this, this is a law that uh, exists for better or for worse. And um, I'm willing to bet we were first, and I'm willing to bet that other states have followed along. But if they haven't, I'm sure they've got some reasonable facsimile. Simply put, in California, men pay vagina money at a rate of one day of vagina money for every two days of marriage. So if you're married one year, you pay six months of vagina money. Married five years, you pay two and a half years of vagina money. If married eight years, you pay four years of vagina money. And uh, once you hit the 10 year mark, vagina money is forever. Unless she gets married to somebody else. Forever. It's fairly well known that Tom Cruise, for example, conveniently ditched Nicole Kidman right before his 10th anniversary. So instead of having to pay forever, he pays something, something in the vicinity of five years of vagina money. But he could have been on the hook paying her forever. And so, um, while I don't think that's the law in every state in America... If you don't live in California, I'm sure your state has something similar going on. Unless you live in Texas. Texas is a great place to live if you don't want to pay vagina money. But um, I recommended to my boys, and many of my boys live here in California, because we've got uh, big time, big fat, big signal FM radio stations in Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco. So a lot of my boys live in the state of California. And I have recommended to my boys that if you've been married more than five years and less than ten, it's time to do a gut check. When I say it's time to do a gut check, it's time to dig deep within your soul and figure out if you're planning on being with that bitch the rest of your life. Because if you're not, it's time to get rid of her. If you don't, you'll be paying forever, literally forever. Until you die, you'll be paying. Think about that. Until you die, you will be paying. Until you die. Now, I've talked to guys tell me, I'm married eight years, Tom, and I'm not happy. If that's you, today is the day to call an attorney. Not a year and a half from now, not two years from now, now. I know it's hard to leave. Believe me, I've been married and divorced four times. I know how hard it is to give the speech. I know how hard it is to make somebody get out. I know what weapons they will try to throw in your direction. I'm well aware. But paying forever must be avoided at all costs. All the crying, all the threats, all the screaming, all the attorneys she hires, whatever might happen, now is the time to kick her ass out the door. And I've told the boys to do this gut check, and I've told them to consider whether or not they want to continue being married. Look, by the way, don't get me wrong. 
if you are happy, happy, happy after seven, eight, nine years, maybe you'll be happy forever. I'm not trying to encourage people who are really, really happy to walk out the door. I'm talking about the guys who are miserable and they don't know what to do and they're frozen in fear and they're standing there like a deer in the headlights. Afraid of what might happen. Afraid of how it might go down. Afraid of her crying or stamping her feet. You stay because you're terrorized into staying. I've been in those relationships, my friend. I've been there. And I'm telling you from personal experience, time and time again, no matter what she says or threatens to do, and no matter what she does, it will not be as bad as having to send her a check every month for the rest of your life. I don't know how many of you actually went out and did gut checks. And I have to imagine that some of you did gut checks and decided I was right and decided to drop kick her through the uprights. And I did say this a while ago. It's entirely possible some of you have actually gotten the divorce already, or at the very least you've filed the papers. I want to find out if you have done this gut check. If you are one of those guys who have been married five years or more, but less than ten, and uh, you had to uh, look at the situation to decide if you're in or out. This is the time to decide whether you're in or out. And if you're out, now is the time to act. Have you taken the gut check? Tom Likas. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. How are you today? Do you care? Yes, I do, because I don't want you to rip me a new one because I don't agree with you on what you say. The Tom Likas Show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. All right. Gut check time, boys. Chris, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm okay. Good. Hey, uh, first time, long time. But you've uh, talked about alimony um, kind of here and there over the time I've been listening to you. And as a uneducated uh, uh, married guy, for what I guess alimony really means or what it's for or what all the you know, limitations and, and craziness that it is. I, I guess you I never heard you explain, I guess, maybe the reasoning behind it. Help help me, help us and understand. The reasoning behind the existence of vagina bony? Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> um, originally the idea of vagina bony, it went back to the days when the man went to work and the woman stayed home and raised the kid. The idea was it was to help uh, pay the rent for the poor, delicate little flower you've tossed mercilessly onto the street with your children. Okay. Well, now, as we know, over 60% of all women work, and um, they have their own paychecks. And in many cases, there are no children. There are child-free households. And on top of that, you are required to pay child support anyway. You do not want to be required to make payments for a vagina you used in the past. That's why we call it vagina mode. Sure, sure. Well, why, I mean, in this day and age, being most of the elected officials are, are male, why Why does it still, I mean, obviously you don't have answers for the lies. Oh, no, I have opinions about that. <laughs> it's certainly something I've talked about on the air before. Oh, it's because politicians clearly have been scared to death by women's organizations they, of course, they want, all they you have to do is all you have to do is look at the percentage of women under fifty who actually go to the polls, and you wouldn't be afraid at all. Sure. The biggest voters, you know, women start to vote after they've dropped their last egg. Sure. You know, if you've got tampons under the sink, chances are you're not watching C-SPAN or CNN. Sure. All right. So, well, uh, but nonetheless, they worry about this. I mean, come on, you've heard about all the men who get uh, get their clocks cleaned in divorces, haven't you? Oh yeah, it sounds yeah, it sounds great. I mean, it just it, it scares uh, scares one to death, and, and especially with uh, you know an, a vindictive uh, ex. You know, I can um, only imagine. And uh, you know, luckily I haven't been through that, but right. um, not yet. You know, hopefully, hopefully I never will. <laughs> not yet, Mister Parkland. Uh, not yet, you haven't. Well, question for you then, or or in your expertise. I mean, my wife fortunately makes. 
you know, twice as much as me. I mean, in this situation, right it now, actually come correct today. Right now, till you have a kid or something. Well, we we have three, not together, but kind of from past marriages. But um, you know, I guess my you know when, when I when you have one together, she's going to stay home with it for a while. I'm sorry. When you have one together, now you'll have four, and then you'll be staying. She'll be staying home with that kid for a period of time. Well, we're not having any more kids. It's already uh, it's already done deal. It's been decided. The, the youngest is seven, the oldest is 13, right. so we're well on our way. And have you that. adopted her children? No, I haven't. Do you plan to? No. Hey, he won't let it happen. Good. He'd love to. No, it's but, a perfect uh, crime. Yeah. Because if you get so, divorced, do you want to be paying vagina money and child support? <laughs> no, sir. Uh -huh. Well, in that type of situation, I mean, the way the, the, the laws are written, would I be paying? Or you know, are there situations where it's reversed? Does the there are situations, pay? but uh, I, you know what? That's all, that's all on paper. I don't know a single man who gets paid alimony. Sure. I don't know one. Yeah. Well, that's what made me wonder. Is it, is it only one-sided? Um, and, and wanted to get your input. I'd never heard of the other way around, but who knows? Maybe there's some guy out there that's actually taking it to, to a wife, and I'd be like, Oh, to look, that guy. man bites dog. I've, I've, I've certainly read stories in the newspaper uh -huh. about uh, that. And by the way, that's why they are stories in the newspaper, because they're so unusual. Sure. You know, there's not a story in the newspaper every time a woman gets vagina money, but when a man gets alimony, stop the presses. That, yeah. That's a big story. Yeah. Because it never happens. Yep. All right. So, yes. Has it happened? Yes. Does it happen often? En it doesn't happen often enough that it's not a news story anymore. Sure. sure. No, it makes sense. Makes sense. Well, appreciate your uh, appreciate all your wisdom over over time, and uh, and uh, take me out with a with a binger. Here you go, Chris. Scott on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's Scott. I know. I just said that. <laughs> How you doing? I, I uh, have three kids, married for nine years. I was just listening to your show on the radio, and I, uh, my gut feeling is to uh, leave, but I don't want to leave my three kids hanging. Yeah, so what? You would stay there until all of them are 18? Well, that's kind of what I was thinking, but... And you realize if you get to that 10th anniversary in San Diego, you'll be paying your wife forever. Forever. Uh. Forever. Or until she gets married. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was afraid of after hearing that. I was going, oh, you know, that, uh, that don't sound too good. <laughs> I not. wasn't aware of that. That's right. And by the way, don't take my word for it. Run it by your local attorney. Right, right. Well, I appreciate it, Tom. I just wanted to get your input on that. I'm here to help, Scott. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, the professor. Hey. How's it going, bud? Doing okay. I just need a little advice. All right. Hello. I said, all right. I don't know how much more I can say. <laughs> I uh, have two kids with a girl. Why'd you do that? Uh, we've been together for a while. Doesn't matter. Why'd you do it? Ah, uh, uh, ignorance. All right, I'll buy. But all right, that, that explains the first one. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it again? Uh, kids, you just can't beat them. Yeah, that's the law. <laughs> um, smart enough not to get married, though. All right. Well, that, at least you did that right. Did that right. I have uh, a question about California laws. Yes. Say, say it ends tomorrow. Do I wind up paying anything besides child support? Well, that's a question for an attorney because I'm not an expert on common law marriage. And and that's my other question. Does that apply in California? Is there such a thing? If as I were, common law? that's a great question for an attorney. And if I were you. I'd be asking it. Gotcha. And a good reason not to move in with a chick. Absolutely. Even if you have kids with her. All righty. Makes sense? Definitely. Very good. Take me out with a fat ripper. Here you go, Mark. Mr. 
milk off. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Darren on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. Hey, I've uh, done the gut check. I've uh, been married 12 years, four kids, and I honestly, I uh, I don't think I could do it to my kids. Um, it's just the thing with the wife, you know, like familiarity breeds contempt, you know. <laughs> and, and she uh, That's a good argument against marriage right there. Well... She's gold to everybody else, and it's like I'm the whipping boy. We've discussed it. Um, it's just too much. And I've got to the point where I feel like I want the papers in my pocket when my three-year-old turns 18 and good to go, yeah. you know. But uh, there's no change in it, you know. So I don't know. It's like I don't even know if I can hang in that long. It's, uh, But I, I don't want to destroy my kids' lives. How old is the youngest one? Three. Three. The oldest so, one's 14. So you did the gut check after I told you to. Um, I just listened to your program. I started thinking about it. I've been thinking about this a long time, you know, and, uh, and you're going to laugh at me, obviously. Uh, this was before even the last kid. She tricked me. She said she wanted to try to have a baby, and I try and sounded great. You know, let's try right now. <sighs> and uh, just stupid guy stuff, you know, but uh, we're done now. The situation's been fixed. No more kids, but uh, it just it's tough, man. I don't know if I can hang in there that long. Hang on a second, Darren. Let me give you somebody with a little experience in this matter. Mark. Yes, Tom. Now, say hi to Darren. Darren. Hey. It's, it's too late, buddy. You've already passed the time, and, um, you know, you're, you're in it to win it now. Well, I just destroy my kids' lives, man, and they've got, you know, I, I do fairly well, and uh, we've got, they've got these perfect little lives, and it's... Uh, well, it's just really like the last guy, just the San Diego guy. He, he, he's got to go... Get an attorney and get it done, because he's still under the nine years and it's it's still good to go. So that guy, Steve, I believe his name is Steve. Go get an attorney and get it done. And you, you it, buy the bullet. It's yep, exactly. It's too late. You know, I uh, you know, so I, I just, was like... I was in it to win it too. I was in it for my kids, and uh, actually, she did me the favor, and I'm totally cool with it. I'm afraid that uh, she's never really had to work. She kind of works just for the heck of it sometimes, or volunteers or stuff like that. But uh, um, financially, I don't think she would leave, you know, unless she really felt, I, I don't know. She'd probably do pretty well, but I don't think You would do. love her to leave on her own, though, wouldn't you? It would make her the bad guy, and don't think I haven't thought about that. You so know, you'd like love for her to make the decision? Mm -hmm. Any yeah. little thing that would happen, I'd be like... You did it, you know. It's just, uh, but it's not happening, you know. And uh, so you're not that concerned about the kids. So it sounds like you guys are both in it for the kids. I don't know. May maybe it that's how we got together. I knocked her up. You know, we didn't have no big romantic right. love story. Uh, she got knocked up with the first one, and we just kind of ended up together, you know. And uh, that's what happened. It said that. Oh, that's what always happens. What doesn't it, Tom? <laughs> well, I hear it from a lot of guys like that. It didn't happen to me, Mark. No. No, well, Tom, that's right, why you Tom, got the radio right. show. That's why I got the radio show. That's why I was Wrap in Bordeaux, on, France please. this summer. That's why I was in Spain this summer. That's why I was in Paris last summer. Yep. Okay, I feel even better now. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks for letting me... Uh... Mark, thank you. Hang on, Darren, because I got Matt here. Matt, what did you want to say to Darren? I just wanted to tell Darren, hey, Darren, you sound like a, a mirror image of myself. Uh, my ex tricked me into knocking her up like women do. Tom will tell you that. I was married for seven years, and I did get divorced when my daughter was three and my son was seven. And let me tell you something. I thought the same way I did. I didn't. I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave. I got her to leave, and I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. But I'm going to tell you what you need to do. The minute you leave her, you need to go out and get cut. Because I'm a victim twice, my friend. I'm paying child support in two directions for three kids. So when you do it, let me tell you, it's going to suck for a while. But it's going to be a lot better. The kids will be fine. They're going to be in the 50 percentile. 50 percent of the kids out there are from divorced families, and they adapt and they do well. If you love your kids, make sure your attorney gets you equal time, because that's going to be what decides how much you pay. So yeah. all I can do is say, my friend, don't think about it. You're the whipping boy. You said it yourself. I was in the same position. She wanted to treat me like that. And let me tell you, life is a lot better afterwards. 
go go through it. Go through the the small bit, the vindictive divorce, the whole thing that you go through. Get it done and start enjoying yourself. You know what I got now? I got a dog at home, and no matter how much I drink, no matter who I bring home or what I or what woman I smell like, she wags her tail and she's happy to see me. You'll never get that in a marriage. Man's best friend. Man's best friend. Hey, get a hamster if you have to. It's better than a wife. Yeah, I've been through the hamster thing with the kids. I tell you that. I don't know what that is. Yeah, well, let me tell you, it's better than a wife. Yeah, hey, I appreciate the advice. You know, I just, uh, I'm torn, man. I'm hey, torn. Well, you know what? You're torn just like I was. And when she left, I could tell you right now, you know, I wouldn't have left, but I'm glad now that it's over and I look back at it and all the friends that I have are in the same position. You, you got, you get your life, like the longer you wait, you know, the, the less of your life you're going to get. You're going to come home to that same yakking hound every night, beating you down because she's unhappy. If you're happy, go out, get rid of her, pay the child support because there's no way out of that, and just go out and have fun. Get your life back, man. Go out, have some beers with the guys, go to the gym when you want. Don't, don't listen to her tell you what you got to do. Don't let a woman tell you what you're doing on Saturday with her family and her friends. Go out, get your life back, man. It's been seven years since I've been divorced, and I wouldn't even consider hooking up with another girl. Um, it, well, it's, what are you hooking up with then? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, in any type of a relationship situation. I got gotcha. you. know, like Tom says, I, you know, I, I prefer not to even bring him here. Go to their house. You know, if you have to chew your arm off to get out without waking her up. You know. Oh yeah, I know. It, it's it's uh, it's crazy, man. Relationships. Hey, Tom, thanks a lot. Hey, can you take me out Kobe style? Here you go, man. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 Tom. Tom. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. I wish I had you years ago. You would have saved me a lot of grief. That's what many women say. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Doing a follow-up on the recommendation I made to the men out there who are married to do a gut check. Don't let yourself get to a 10th anniversary if you are not happy. If I can speak for California, and check with your local attorney, but it could be this way in your state. After 10 years in California, a woman gets alimony forever, forever. This is Doug on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Doug. Hey, let me tell you. I had done a gut check probably a few months ago and um, knew this wasn't going to last. And I went to my lawyer. I'm at about eight years. My lawyer lets me know that due to the fact it's never worked and I do pretty well, they round that up to ten years. No. Yeah, I'm paying. I'm going to end up paying alimony for the rest of my life. Oh my God! On top of giving her the home to protect my retirement money. Oh my! And you know what a Southern California home is worth? Yes, I. <laughs> I happen to own one. I do. I can. Walk, I can ride a bike to the beach. If that gives you an idea. Oh my <laughs> God! And you had to give it to her? Well, either that or in the my 401k in retirement, I'll split down the middle. You know. It, now that house pay. paid off. I uh, know, but you know, you you bought it for two hundred. It's worth eight hundred, and you know. <laughs> so what? She'll sell it and keep the proceeds. Yeah, she can probably live in it. Whatever she wants to do on the uh, alimony and child support, she can make the payment. Oh boy! They looked at that alimony too. You know, obviously when you came in, the total story of you always told. I was didn't have a job. I was raised by a single mom, had a single mother. You know, obviously I've gone from zero to a real nice six figure income and. Hey, I, based on that, I owe her everything. Now you're handing it over. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I'm how much? How much are you paying her per year? Well, they're looking on alimony is about two thousand. Two thousand a year? Month. Twenty four thousand a year. And double that again for child support. Mm, boy, and the child support's <laughs> not deductible, right? Nah. 
the uh, the the so, Al- you know if you, y'all probably work a deal. I'll claim one child. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyway, just want to let you know that ten year mark is not in the sand. You know, they can look at it and you know Thank you for that information and that's why guys need to check with their attorneys before they do anything. Yeah, I didn't I sure that was my motivation to get to them. I you know, it wasn't to the point I probably could have hung in a couple more years, but you know, you say there's no way in hell I'm spending my life with this woman. Yeah. <laughs> I understand, Doug. All right, Tom. Take I, me out Kobe style. Here you go, Doug. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Say hi here to uh, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hey, hey, Tom. How are you doing today? Doing okay. Good. I was just uh, was on my way to work and heard your little topic about the alimony. I was a uh, I got divorced in 1999, and I was eligible for three thousand dollars a month alimony, and I denied it. I denied it. I was only married for five years. And um, you were entitled to that three thousand a month for how many years? For two and a half years. Right. Okay. And I, you know, we have a job. At the time I was, I didn't have the job that I have today. I just started, you know, we uh, um, have six figure incomes. At the time I didn't, but he did. But, you know, the bottom line is, is uh, I see a lot of women who just take that alimony just because they can. And, and, and I, and I think it's, you know, I think it's a, b- a bad deal for men. Um, That's and why men shouldn't get married in the first place. Well, well, yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, there's there, uh, finding a woman with, that would not take alimony are far and few between. No doubt about it. You know, but I, I think that you know, there, like I said, there's a lot of women out there that just take it because they can. Uh, believe me, I know. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Colin on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Colin, you're a big fat stud. There we go. Hey, uh, listen, I got two stories. One, been married eight years. Um, that other cat, let me turn my phone down, feed back my ear. That other cat, man, he should have done it the way I did it. First of all, <clears throat> back when Herpes came out, I'm 45, right? Yeah. Herpes comes out, and ever since then, I was scared of catching. Oh, oops, stuff, sorry. Well, first um, of all, Herpes has been around forever. Well, yeah. That's not a new thing. It, I, I didn't know about it. You didn't know about it, but trust me, but it's so, been there since the beginning of time. Right. So, like 1984, you know, I pretty much already racked up triple digits. I don't even care anymore. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to wrap that sucker because I don't want to catch nothing, right? I'll pull it off on my wedding night, whenever that is. So, since 84, I've known where every drop goes. And uh, so, I got no kids. And. Uh, I'm happily married, you know. Another thing you should tell the boys, don't marry the chick that you're hot for. Marry the chick that you like, you know. The one you're hot for, you won't be banging her either. Why marry anyone? Well, right, but if I, but even to, to just pick out one to stick, stick with, if you're going to do that thing... You can stick with someone without signing a contract. Right. Absolutely. There is no need to get married. I'm not recommending I, I that any man get that. married. It's just not worth it. I agree with you 100%. I really do. But I'm uh, I'm happy, and she can leave tomorrow, and, and, and I make 70% of our income. Like that other cat, exact same thing. I bought my house for 200 It's paid for. I paid for it. And uh, we've always had separate checking accounts. She pays half the bills. She pays her car payment. Yeah, but do you have a prenup? No. So none of that really matters if you got divorced. Uh, well, maybe. Whatever. So uh, figure it this way: if I paid ten thousand dollars for everything I used the, in vagina money, you know, as a straight across swap, uh, I'd still, you know, I don't have to. Yeah, pay but if you got divorced after the ten-year mark, you're going to be paying alimony forever, forever. Yeah, but you know what? She's not going anywhere. Because here's the thing: I got, I'll always have the upper hand in the relationship. How always. so? I always will. Let me tell you how you wouldn't have the upper hand. How? Let's say you come home and you find her having sex with your best friend in your living room. Yes. Yeah, so? She then hires an attorney, and then she can take you for half of everything you've got plus vaginal. Well, she's going to hire an attorney after I catch her having sex? She certainly can, unless you kill her. 
okay, I could do that in a fit of passion. No, but you won't. Rage. You won't. And you. Well, and by might. the way, I no, wouldn't recommend it either. But uh, I'm pretty logical, you know. Not so, you, that so you would kill her if, if that happened. <laughs> nah. Yeah, oh. I'd kill her. And let him go with just a real severe beating. Yeah. Well, you you're a big talker now, pal. Like but yeah. anyways. You know, yeah, I'm stupid. I got married. Totally agree with you. Marriage is lame, and you shouldn't do it. I didn't need to do it. I could have the exact same arrangement, but I'm not afraid. But I agree. But the thing is, keep if you keep if you don't commingle assets, you at least got a chance. You know, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, but again, don't have kids. Don't commingle assets. Yeah, but not commingling assets, you have to combine with having a prenuptial agreement, which you didn't. Right. Well, you know what? I can tell her I want to get divorced today. So we can get a prenup and get remarried on Friday. Yeah, good luck doing that, pal. Good luck. Tom Likas. Wolf. Tom Likas. Wolf. One hundred. Five hundred. Tom. 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 I used to be three fifty-five. Oh, that ain't bad. That's just right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a plump rump. That's a roast. The Tom Likas Show. Did you boys do the gut check? one 800 800 tom Here's our telephone number. Melissa, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I just wanted to comment about, first of all, the common law does not exist in the state of California anymore. There we so go. That guy has nothing to worry about. I say leave her. Don't worry about the kids because you're just going to make them even more happy staying. So uh -huh. I would tell them to leave. And then the whole alimony with women, I don't understand why they haven't asked for it. They're lazy if they can't get a job. They need to work and provide for themselves, stand up on their own two feet, and do something. I agree with you. So, and I only say it because I have an aunt who went through the whole thing, burned my uncle a little bit, and I couldn't understand why. So to me, I just think get off your ass, get a job, or at least make more money to support yourself. For the kids' sake... I agree, help out a little bit, but I don't believe in the whole, you know, for one kid it's like $900. That's crap. You know, just help provide for them and that's it. Do it on your own. Yeah, well, I agree with you on that, Melissa. Thank you for that, Elisa, on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, how are you today? Do you care? I do. I'm doing great. I have both. I have, I can see both sides of it, and this is mine. I was listening earlier, and it was saying that you'd never heard of someone... You know who the woman usually gets the bad side of the deal. No, no. Well, what I said was I I don't know any men who are receiving alimony. Okay, my first husband actually got alimony from me. Got well, my I'm daughter. not saying there aren't men like that. I do and read I, I do read the paper. And, and I had to work. Uh, and he, that, he took my daughter because he could provide in home daycare for well, his mother. Well, guess mother. what? This happens to men every day of the week. Oh, I know it does, but you have to... So what? There's an exception to the rule. So what? No, I'm saying what they need to do is they need to be responsible for it. It takes two people to have a baby, not just one. That, so that whatever has, kind of scenario. We're is. not talking about child support. We're talking about alimony. Okay. Either way, if... No, not either are, way. Those are two very different things. Okay, so if the man has to pay the woman alimony, basically you're projecting to people that she's basically just like a prostitute. Well, what, yes, and what I'm saying is and... the law in California says if you stay married for 10 years or more, the man has to pay forever. So I'm saying if you married eight years and you're not happy, get out today. But it's always, it seems like you advocate to the men that women... I'm a man. Like I'm, I'm a man who's been divorced four times, and uh, uh, this show is uh, by a man... For men, about men. Okay, so if a man is with a woman and they are married, and she cuts his hair, she should charge him twelve ninety five for that haircut. They, she should she do whatever deal, deal they agreed to. Seventy five. Uh, whatever deal they agreed to. All I'm saying is, if a man gets out before his tenth anniversary in California, in many cases, he will only have to pay vagina money for a limited period of time. And if he's the so one why one wait one until one your 10th one anniversary? One Get one out one today. One. That's what I'm saying. If he's the one committing adultery... Adultery has nothing to do with it, dear. Himself, Since the 70s, adultery pay? is not grounds for divorce or for the payment of vaginimony. It is. No, it isn't. 
Adultery is a cause for divorce. No, not anymore. We have no-fault divorce in California, dear. Okay, so... So uh, adultery is not grounds for divorce. It's not. So he can do whatever he wants, doesn't have to care about it. And so can you, by the way. The way the law works is you can have sex... If I'm married to you, you can have sex with my best friend right in front of me and then take half of everything I've earned after that. That's how the law works. And so advocate to these children that these men want to leave behind. Get out now. People. Get out now. That's what I'm saying. If you haven't been married 10 years yet and you're not happy, call your attorney today. Get out now. Don't end up paying that bitch forever. The Tom Likas Show.